Hi. Encapsulation is basically hiding the data by giving private access modifiers. Of course, it is very important, a very important methodology or a way in terms of the information security and protection of data. Additionally, encapsulation is one of the four important principles of object-oriented programming. The reason why we need to use encapsulation is that we may have a class and we may not want that class's fields and methods accessible from outside of another class. So this is where we are going to use encapsulation for hiding the data. It may be quite vital and crucial to use encapsulation, especially in some places, let's say, such as uh, healthcare centers, security companies, banks, and also hospitals, especially where information security and data protection is very important. Let's come to the benefits of encapsulation. The first thing that comes to my mind is that about the benefits of encapsulation is, of course, the security and protection of the data. Because we are trying to prevent our data from illegal or unwanted access as well as unintended changes. And uh, secondly, we are going to have a control over what is stored inside the data. Third benefit is that we can manage how our data will be used. So we create read-only and write-only classes by using getter and setter methods. And the fourth benefit, I would say that uh, encapsulation is more flexible, reusable, and easy to maintain. And the final ben and the final benefit is testability. I mean that testing our software is simpler and easier for unit testing. Since the variables are not spread all over the place by implementing encapsulation. So this feature of encapsulation provides the testers saving time and effort as well. Let's come to the important question on how to apply getters and setters to a private constant final data. The answer is uh, if private constant final modifier is used, it makes data immutable, I mean unchanged. So nothing is changed for getter method. Behaves the same as private. Also permits us to reach and uh, read the data from final class. But for the setter method, setter method can be used only once to initialize the data. After that, setter cannot access to the source code and cannot be modified again. Thank you for listening.